Hey guys, this is my Samsung device running Android 14 with One UI 6.1. Looks completely normal, right? But wait until you see what's running inside it. Yep, that's a whole separate Android phone running virtually inside my Samsung. And yeah, as you can see, it's the Moto G42 running Android 14, just like a real phone. And the best part? It even supports root access. It's not turned on by default, but you can easily enable it from the settings. Now you might be wondering, how is this even possible? Well, it's all thanks to an app called Vmos Cloud. It's like having an Android phone in the cloud. Seriously, it lets you run a full Android system on almost any device. It works on Android, iOS, Mac, Linux, and even directly in your web browser. Pretty crazy when you think about it. You can run apps, games, social media, and even root tools, all inside a virtual Android phone. As long as you can open the VMOS Cloud app or just use the website, you're good to go. You'll be running a full Android system, virtually, without touching your main device at all. Getting started is super easy, even if you're a complete beginner. Just visit vmoscloud.com and sign up using your email or Google account. I already have an account, so let me quickly log in with my email. All right, this is the dashboard, and as you can see, this is my current virtual device. From here, you can create a brand new Android phone in just a few clicks. And honestly, one of the best things about VMOS Cloud is the customization. You can choose your Android version from Android 10, 11, and even Android 15. But it doesn't stop there. You can also pick the brand and model you want. Google Pixel, Samsung, Oppo, Redmi. There are tons of options. Once you've selected your virtual device, you'll need to subscribe to activate it. VMOS Cloud supports over 30 payment methods, including cryptocurrency, which is super convenient. But here's the good news. If you just want to try it out, they give you five free hours to test everything before making a purchase so you can explore and decide if it's right for you. No pressure. Now let me go ahead and launch my virtual device. I'll open about phone in the settings just to confirm. And yes, as you can see, I'm running the same device on both Android and web. Right here is my Moto G42 running Android 14, completely virtual but working like a real phone. What's even cooler? Whether you're using an iOS device, Android, Windows, or even a Mac, you can access your virtual Android device from anywhere. Same phone, same setup, across all your devices. And look at this, the exact same device is running on all my platforms. All the apps work just like they would on a regular phone. Let me quickly open YouTube. And yep. It's working perfectly smooth, no lag at all. Now let's test the internet speed on this virtual device. I'm just gonna open up fast.com real quick. And wow, just look at that speed, 840 megabits per second. That's insane for a cloud-based virtual phone. And now let's talk about something a lot of you are probably wondering, gameplay. Yes, you can actually play games on this virtual Android phone. Whether it's lightweight games like Subway Surfers or Clash of Clans or more demanding ones like Free Fire, they run surprisingly well. Alright, let's take it a step further and try out some games. First up, Roblox. I installed it just like on a regular Android phone and as you can see, it's running perfectly smooth. No lag, no glitches, even the controls feel super responsive. Now let's try something fun and random. I'm gonna open this Squid Game style app I found. And again, it works without any issues. Graphics are smooth, audio synced, and everything just runs like it should. So whether you're gaming for fun or testing stuff out safely, VMO's cloud gets the job done. And it's not just about apps and games, VMO's cloud comes packed with a ton of useful features too. There's a professional mode, and when you turn that on, you'll get access to some tools like uploading files, taking screenshots, rebooting the virtual phone, and more. You can even customize the virtual button layout, change how the navigation buttons look, adjust gestures, or tweak the controls to match your style. 
So honestly, I'd say just give the trial version a shot. They offer six free hours to test everything out. No strings attached. First, head over to vmoscloud.com and sign up using your email or Google account to create a new account. Once you're signed up, VMOS Cloud will automatically assign you a virtual device with six hours of free usage. As you can see here, it is already active, showing five hours and 59 minutes left. Now just wait a few seconds while the device gets fully created for you. And there it is, your virtual Android phone is ready to go. You can start exploring, install apps, play games, whatever you want. So yeah, VMOS Cloud is honestly a game changer. If you're a developer or app tester, this is gold. You can install and test your apps without ever touching your main phone. And I get it, as developers, we often need to test apps on different devices. With VMOS, it's super easy. Just drag and drop your APK file and install it like you would on any normal phone. Let me quickly install one now and show you. And there you go, our app is installed and ready to test. Like I said earlier, if you want to test your app on a real Android environment, just create a virtual phone from any brand, Samsung, Pixel, Redmi, anything, and test smoothly like a real device. Oh, and here's something cool, Vmos Cloud also has a referral program. So if you like the platform and want to share it with your friends or audience, you can actually earn from it. You actually get a flat 30% commission for every person who signs up and makes a purchase using your referral link. No complicated tiers or tricky conditions, just share your link and start earning. So yeah, you're not just using a virtual phone, you could be making money from it too. Personally, I found it super smooth and beginner friendly. Setup was easy, everything worked out of the box. And I was surprised by how stable the whole thing ran, even while gaming. If this helped you, hit like, subscribe for more tech and drop your questions below. I've got you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.